Let's move! Gods from all over the Greek world. You wouldn't think the city was besieged by an army of Spartans. Come on. You must be the one Pericles sent. I am. He said there was an ostracism vote, but didn't tell me what I'm here to do. Of course he didn't. That's what I'm for. If someone is exiled, can they return? If they do, they'll be punished. What does someone have to do to be ostracized? Anyone seen as a threat to the city or the people is enough. And then it is up to the vote. Some have been ostracized for simply being more disliked than the person they're up against. What's my role in this? The votes have already been cast. We don't have long before they're counted. Take the Ostraka in this bag and exchange them with the ones currently under guard. You want me to rig the ostracism? Pericles does. And he has his reasons, I'm sure. Bring me the bag you took from the room, and I'll take care of the rest. No one will see me go in or out. Stay here. Should be extra careful in this area. You'd better get out of here. I won't warn you again. What do you think you're doing? Ah! <laughs> 
Did anything yet? Nothing. Keep the eyes open. Ah. I ah. Ah. Come on! No! Fight me, you 
Please contact now. Away! Oh. 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 It's done. Hmm. You work quickly. What are you going to do with them? Dump them in a well. Ah, it looks like the official has arrived. I apologize for the delay. There was evidence someone attempted to tamper with the boats. Don't worry. The Ostraka are all accounted for. The votes were counted, and Araxagoras is to be ostracized. This 
slow to fall into friendship, but once you do, continue firm and constant. It will be more difficult for me now that Anaxagoras must leave Athens. We were quite close, although he and Pericles were much closer. It's strange, Pericles wasn't here today to defend him. Many believe they need more than they actually do. And others have to risk everything just to survive. You are clearly someone who would do whatever you feel is necessary. Perhaps for Drachmi, or maybe to further a personal goal. That describes a lot of people. I suppose I'm curious why you did it. How could I not be when you're the reason my friend is being forced to leave the only home he's ever known? I did what I was asked to do. And your needs are greater than those of the man you helped ostracize. Still, you raise a fine point. Who is more responsible? Anaxagoras for getting himself mixed up in this, or you for simply sealing his fate? I'm not responsible for his actions. I have one thing to think about, my own. Then I hope you also think about today about Anaxagoras, about choice. Socrates, there you are. Here I am. You're late. They're all waiting for you. I wish to see Anaxagoras' fate, and so I have. Tell them I'm on my way. Well, it seemed our conversation is at its end, although I hope it isn't the final one we have. I wouldn't know. That's everything Pericles wanted? Time to return to him and find out what these Athenians know about my mother.
Cassandra, it's you! Phoebe! You promised we'd see each other again, and now we have! I also said, stay out of trouble. Which I have! Okay, almost out of trouble. How did you even get here, Phoebe? Well, I did make some draft me working for Marcos. So you paid someone to bring you to Athens? Not exactly. Phoebe... I needed a drachmi for when I arrived. I couldn't use it all to leave, and I didn't want to wait any longer. So I sneaked on a ship. Don't worry, nobody saw. I just can't believe you made it. I don't remember much of Athens from when I was a baby. But every once in a while, something feels familiar. It's nice. I can't believe you're here. Me either. I can't believe we both made it to Athens. It's so much different from Kefalonia. But what are you doing here? I'm here to get you ready. I have to make sure you leave all your weapons and change into these clothes. So you somehow work here? For Pericles? No, for Aspasia. I don't understand why I have to change. It's just what you do here. I felt weird at first, but you forget about it pretty fast. And my weapons? Don't worry, I'll take care of them. You don't want to scare people in there. Well... How is it you're working for Aspasia? Well, I did get into a little bit of trouble after I got to Athens. I may have been a leader of a small group of orphans that tried to cheat Aspasia. We didn't know it was her, though. And you convinced her to hire you? No. She asked me on her own. That was lucky. I think I'm ready to go in. You can't. Not like that, anyway. The Athenians like it best when you try to fit in. But don't worry, I have just the outfit for you. I'll get changed. Promise you'll take care of my things? Yep. Leave your weapons in the corner, and I'll come back when you're done. I feel uncomfortable in this. Now you look like everyone else. You say that like it's a good thing. It is. If you want them to take you seriously, this is the easiest way. Trust me. Is that everything? You're all ready to go in. Don't worry. You've done scarier things than this. I'm struggling to think of any right now. Are you sure I can't keep just one weapon with me? No weapons. Now hurry and go in. Oh, and don't leave without saying bye. Here, Cassandra. The mighty mercenary and traveler has finally made her grand entrance. Only slightly late, too. Herodotus! Athenians have no problem letting me know when I'm not welcome. It's a relief to see your friendly face. Don't let the company here tonight intimidate you. I won't. Pericles is no king. He needs these guests to love him so that the people love him. And they, in turn, need Pericles. You're not different from any of them. Do you really think these people will help me? They will if you get them to trust you. And you've wisely dressed for the occasion. Appearing trustworthy is the most important part of being trusted, after all. Now then, come, let me introduce you to everyone. They may not look it, but this group holds the way to the future on the tip of their opinionated tongues. Ah, Sophocles and Everybidis, for example. Two of the most celebrated playwrights to date. No one can throw stones as far as they can. They appear to be locked in some kind of intellectual struggle, as is their way. He's a writer of comedies, of all things. Comedies, every pedis. I've heard of Sophocles. In my line of work, it pays to know who the richest and most famous men are. Hermippos has also written his fair share of comedies. You should drink more. 
Lately, his attitudes have garnered him more notice than his works. However, the fellow beside him, Protagoras, is a sophist worthy of as much praise as the great Socrates himself. Inviting Socrates seems like a good way to ruin everyone's night. I'm surprised they would let him in the door. Oh, don't let Socrates get under your skin. At least he wore shoes for the occasion. And the poor thing gesticulating like an ape is Thrasymachus. If you listen closely, you'll notice he and Socrates are actually arguing the same points. But the wind from his wild gestures deafens him to critique. That isn't at all what I mean. Where is Pericles? Oh, he never attends his own parties. Which reminds me, there's something I need to get his help with. Vile Socrates, always appearing where I least expect him. Warrior, protect me from his amorous gaze. Oh, Alcibiades, this is not a time for jealousy, but for love. Let's not use Alcibiades as an example. Be good, and don't drink too much. So, tell me, what does a Mystios like you think of a party like this? This party could be fun. Alcibiades drinks like a Spartan. Maybe he fights like one, too. If I could suggest anything, Please don't start a fight, or end one. Thank you, Herodotus. Now, if you'll excuse me, Pericles is here somewhere, and I need to prepare him. If he's alone, I'll tell him what your brother said. Agreed. Pericles needs to know. I'll stay here and look for clues. I hope they know something about your mother. Me too. Talk to this infuriating air bladder. I've had my fill. Perhaps later. First, explain to me your point again. And so it isn't the rich and powerful, but the gods who are the source of just a new face in Pericles' abode. Ha! That in itself is a remarkable thing. You must have seen me doing my impression of Cleon. I call it the orange ape. Tell me, what does it think? I am called many things. It isn't one of them. What do you call yourself, then? Creature of many names? Cassandra. Hmm, I wouldn't peg you as a Cassandra, but never mind. I'm Aristophanes, and this man is Evripides. Oh, go on, introduce yourself. I'm Evripides. For a playwright, you're not much for words. Good men lead quiet lives, as old Evripides likes to say. Don't you, Evripides? Now, if you'll excuse us, I was just about to dazzle this old dog with my impression of Pericles. I call it the wooden board. The man is your host. Under every stone hides a politician, I always say. And Pericles is no different. What? No! Have you been listening to nothing I say? Yeah. Uh -huh. 
I suppose you've come in here to mock me for my fight with every Pedis. I've seen lots of fights. That wasn't one. <laughs> I really made a fool of myself this time, didn't I? Sure you're just friends? I'm never just anything, foreigner. Though I confess, every Pidis and I hold a bond deeper than brotherhood. Why he slams it with a banal young plaything, Aristophanes, I will never know. I'll get the one. Wonderful. Now, if you want some friendly advice, Aristophanes cannot stand sweet wine. I've seen what it can do to him. Absolutely, horrifyingly delightful. It wouldn't be a party without someone losing their stomach. I'll let you know if your plan worked. Save for that arrogant playwright. I don't see many distinguished guests in here. Can I help you with something? I'm here for your sweet wine. Yes, take it. But get out of my kitchen. I'm very busy, you know. It's come back for more. Care to see my impression of Protagoras? I call it the flapping bladder. <laughs> I'm sure she wouldn't. When I need to relax, I start a fight. For you, though. Quickly! Bring him some wine so that he might say something clever.
Come. How's every pedis? Drunk, I hope. You can stop hiding in here. Every pedis won't notice you coming out. He won't notice anything. Hiding? Heed this. War has come to Athens. First they take our homes, then they take our heads. I intend to be found with at least my dignity intact. Or what's left of it anyway. If you see Pericles, tell him I said thank you for another colorful evening. Someone's being hurt. Open this door or I'll kick it in! Oh, 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 oh don't mind her. She likes to watch. Ooh. Look at you. Such authority. Such aggression. I can see why Pericles has taken such an interest in you. Did you come to join us? It sounded like someone was in pain. Well, it can sometimes be hard to distinguish between sounds of pleasure and pain. Had I known you were going to knock, I would have left my door wide, wide open for you. I thought this party was tame, even by Athenian standards. Until now. Let them have their meeting of the minds. I'm more interested in meeting other parts. Ali, we're out of oil again. Ali? You know they like you when they give you a pet name. There's more olive oil in the kitchen, but Aspasia keeps complaining about me walking unencumbered through her symposiums. You mean naked. Mm, it sounds so good when you say it. I come bearing gifts. <gasps> We're saved! Today, these women grieved for their sons, and these men worked the wall. But tonight, we forget all of that. Let's have some fun! What do you say? Care to... join us? Time for some fun. You'll have to help me strip off these uncomfortable Athenian robes. Gladly. If you like, we can feed them to the god. There's another goat. <laughs> now, it's time for you to help me, Ali. I'm looking for someone. All business right until the end. I like that. Focus. I'm looking for a woman who fled Sparta a long, long time ago. Fled Sparta? No one flees Sparta. But let's pretend she did. If she were stupid, she'd be dead. If she were smart, she'd do what Aspasia did. She'd earn her independence. The smartest and most... Resourceful women I've ever met have been in Corinthia. Oh, 
Piedera? I've heard they play some sort of role in Corinth, but I assumed it was the same as any other city. Oh, no. These women are unlike any other you'll meet. A force. And the only ones there with any smarts. Ali! Come back inside! Ooh, the celebration continues. When you reach Corinth, find Anthusa. No one goes in or out of the city without her knowing. Until we meet again, warrior. Anthusa in Corinth. It's not much, but it's a start. Here comes the one who claims to value Drachmi over the noble path that leads to knowledge. Like I told you, knowledge can't feed me. But the mind must be fed as well. You really intend to use this young destruction to avoid the point being... ...and you haven't agreed yet? Just give up. We're discussing the nature of rulers. We're better to do so than here. I'll ask you the same question I asked Thrasimachos. Would you agree that the act of ruling is an art? It is an art, as all worthy undertakings are. That is not up for argument. Yet, medicine is for the betterment of the patient and not the physician. Carpentry improves the building, not the builder. Then, is the art of ruling not for the betterment of the ruled rather than the ruler? Don't be absurd! I've seen enough of the world to know that there are no just rulers. Even Pericles is self-serving. Is a Spartan general who brings order to his troops, thereby saving his own life self-serving? I'm not sure that's the case. Ruling a city and fighting in battle are different things. By practicing the art of war, doesn't the general guarantee some of his troops a ferry ride to Hades, when a swift retreat would save all their lives? You just said the general isn't self-serving when he brings order to his troops. Then you said he is self-serving because retreating would save the lives of his men? What are you trying to say? I never try to say anything. But you just said those things. I said the words, but I didn't say anything at all. I only attempted to gain your view on the matter. You're wasting your time. Aspasia. I couldn't help but notice your talent for debate. Well done. Socrates is an interesting character. Ah, Phoebe. Pericles has retired to the balcony already, has he? His ability to sneak off and sulk is second to none. I can go get him and Cassandra can help. Everyone listens when she talks. That'll be fine. Run along. Cassandra will be right behind you. Now, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Aspasia. I had to go to great lengths to cover up your work in Megaris. I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, now. To convince someone in this house, even your eyes must tell a lie. Fine, it was me. But my actions were personal, not political. We do what we must to survive, and there's no shame in that. It's how you got here, how I got here. The clothes, they fit you well, I trust.
These may be the nicest clothes I've ever worn, but I feel a bit uncomfortable, to be honest. You never really get used to them. It seems we have the attention of the entire room without a single eye being fixed on us. If you'd like to talk, do it now, and do it discreetly. I've been searching for a woman named Mirini, my mother. I think she may be in danger, and my search brought me here. What clues do you have to her whereabouts? A physician named Hippocrates may have seen her in Argos. He's a good man. If you find a woman named Agathi there, do let her know Aspasia sends her regards. What else? Alcibiades gave me the name of a woman in Corinth. I'm sure he did. My dear friend, Anthusa, is the only one I know who's enjoyed a life in Corinth through legitimate means. Mostly legitimate, anyway. That's all I have. There is another option. In a former life, when I needed something done or someone found, I contacted a friend. An admiral of a sort. What's his name? Her name is Xenia. When we last spoke, she was in chaos. A word of caution. When you go to her, be on your guard. Sea life makes a monster out of most people. Thank you, Aspasia. When you're done, return here. Together, we will find who you're looking for. Now do me a favor and get Pericles to come down here and greet his guests. Cassandra! I didn't send for you. No matter how you've dressed for my party, Phoebe shouldn't have let you in. Aspasia told me to come find you. She wants you to come down to the party. Uh, she says I don't interact with our guests enough. But these parties aren't for me. Technically, you're a guest. If you join Erodotus and me, that should be enough for her, don't you think? You really don't want to go downstairs, do you? When your days are spent speaking in front of crowds, you begin to crave these moments of silence. Or as silent as I let it be, at least. <laughs> your life is in danger. Yes, yes, Herodotus was saying. This cult doesn't worry me. I have my life threatened by far worse people every day. My true concern is Athens. I fear for her future.
Spartans outside the walls, people crammed inside. I don't envy you. Even so, there isn't another city I'd rather live in. I can't say I know how that feels. When you find your place, you'll know it. Aspasia sent me to see what's taking you so long. Tell Aspasia I'll be right there. I suppose this is where our conversation ends. Thank you again for helping me. I hope my guests are able to help you in your search. Time will tell. Not going to beg to come along this time? Nope. I'm happy here. And this isn't Kefalonia. That means you'll be back. That's very true. Plus, I really like working for Aspasia. She says she has a mission for me. I'll see you soon, Phoebe. Bye, Cassandra! I saw the commander put his sword away after killing a Spartan. 